What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Leak the Barber, live here at 40 Media. Shorty started popping the back. She had that dang face. She was all in the zone. You see her game face. Pop it, drop it, floor dirty. Yo, man, we're sitting here with Salem Zone, man. It's, uh, go ahead. What's going on, y'all? It's your guy Leak, aka Leak the Barber, aka Charlie French, mm -hmm. aka Hashtag Salem mm -hmm. Zone. Let him know. You know what I'm saying? Live here with 40 Media. Mm -hmm. We in the building, man. So, yeah, man, um, you know, I personally know you, known you for a long time, man. And, uh, since I've known you, bro, you've been putting in a lot of work, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, why don't you give me a little background on the show that you've done out here? Oh, um, shoot, man. Like you say, I've, I've known you for some time, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, I've been doing shows for a while, to be honest, for, I think I threw my first birthday party when I turned 21, to be honest. Yeah, it might be 21 you. or 22. Yeah. And, and I was I was hitting capacity at these venues out here, man, at like nine thirty, ten o'clock. I remember, know? yeah. And kind of, I felt like the shows we were doing at that time, man, were kind of like pushing the limits to the Salem shows. Yeah. I felt like we brought a different vibe to the music scene in Salem with the whole Myanmar, mm -hmm. you know, back in the day when we were mm -hmm. rocking. So, I mean, we started doing shows. I think when we had, what we have, uh, we had Illusions. We had, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, we had, uh, had on, on the rocks. Had the city popping, man. Yeah, you know, so, I mean, I've been doing shows in the town for, for some years. Yeah, man, I know, you know, that you've done a lot of shows, man. What is, yeah. Who are some artists that you've had the pleasure of working with, man? I know you've done uh, Bone Thugs. Uh, I remember Jay Holiday you brought up a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, that was actually my birthday party. Yeah, so man. You brought, yeah, uh, man. brought uh, Bonafide ENT, Moonlight Events. Mm -hmm. That was probably one of the dopest parties I've had. Yeah. Had Jay Holiday come host my birthday party. Yeah, that was packed cool. it out. It was good, yeah. you know. Uh, shoot, I work with Bone throw, Throwback Artist, Bone yeah, Crusher. Man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We brought him to Salem. I remember that. Yeah. I was there for that. Yeah, yeah. we. I, I did this with Bone Crusher. You know, uh, obviously Bone Thugs and Harmony. That's probably one of the the biggest shows I've done yeah. as far as like legendary artists. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Show was packed out. I did. It was crazy how that came about because. One year we did a show with them. It was me and Rose City Game. Yeah, yeah. And we actually did like a joint mixtape. It was called the uh, Black and White Rose mm -hmm. by one. Mm -hmm. And um, we actually got to perform with, you know, open up for them. And it was cool, you know, all four of us up there rocking the stage, sold out show. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, got to kick it with them on stage, chop it up with them. Ended up, uh, ended up going going out with them, you know. To, to a little little spot, you know, mm -hmm. got to kick it with Bone Thugs and go out with them, and I took some of my buddies with me, and it was like a surreal moment because it's like, you know, I'm kicking it with Bone, bone Thugs, right now. Man. they right here <laughs> laughing with us, cracking jokes with us, yeah. you know, and then the, the following year, I had the opportunity to actually host the whole Bone Thugs event mm -hmm. concert, and it was me, it, man. I appreciate that, man, it was yeah. me, DJ OG1, it's a, the Portland Trailblazers DJ, mm -hmm. um, ended up falling in my lap how it all happened but I ended up having to organize the whole event when it was going on at that time so show slot times hey but you did that bro I remember the um that one show that you had put together the, the battle oh yeah the yeah night. man that was crazy man and it was just yeah. I remember being there and you was organizing you had the team right there and you was like this that and had everything connected man yeah now that was that yeah. was a uh, that was probably one of the most uh uh, I say, one, it was probably one of the dopest shows, to be honest, because it wasn't a show, it was a battle. It was a battle, yeah. You know, and, and it was different. It was yeah. different from the scene, you know, and artists got to experience something different, so put them in a different element, you know what I'm saying? And I'm speaking from... Yeah, the, I had the honor of, of actually having uh, Young Killer, yeah, you, you know, know on, the, on, the, uh, on the battle, which was cool. Young, we had like Young Killer, Young HD, mm -hmm. we had Ramp, was Rambo on it? Yeah, we yeah. had Rambo the Realist. We had uh, I know Pelly Wan was on it. Pelly Wan actually won. It was Pelly Wan and Young HD in the finals in the championship. Yeah, around. I remember that man. And uh, yeah, that was one of my first uh, real stage performances, man. I mean, bro, I was, yeah, bro, I was nervous before that and everything. I was like, oh, shoot, <laughs> we're on the stage. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. But uh, yeah, man, and that's something that I really appreciate about you, man. Is that you know. I recognize the work that you put in, bro, and I see, you know, and that's why we're sitting here, man, because I really want to highlight what you've done. Yeah, man, you know? I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's one thing that I did, you know, and I, and I do like to put notice is that uh, any show that I did in the past, and I plan on doing more shows in the future, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But any show that I did in the past, I always made sure that I put on, you know, I always brought down some Portland artists that I'm cool with, you mm -hmm. know, but I always made sure that I put on a couple Salem artists, mm -hmm. just because that, yeah. I represent for the city that, I, that yeah. we're from, you know, mm -hmm. like wherever I go, if I go to Portland, if I go to Eugene, 
I'm mm-hmm. not a Portland rapper. I'm not a Eugene rapper. I'm a Salem rapper. You know, I, I, I started the whole hashtag Salem, Salem Zone, Zone. Mm-hmm. just because <laughs> me, myself, I represent Salem. Mm-hmm. And, and everybody said, where I go, everybody's like, oh, trying to get to Salem, bro, it's good, Lee. Yep. You know, and it's like, yep. ooh, I, they know that I, am, I represent Salem. Mm-hmm. And wherever I go, they know that. And I'm going to make sure any yeah, artist in Salem is Salem's own, in my opinion, because we represent Salem. Like, if you were to travel somewhere, yeah, Salem's own, mm-hmm. and then if they already heard of Salem's own, they feel like you were Salem's own, they don't already know what's up. They're going to know, oh, Salem got some talent out there, you know? And that's my whole thing is when I'm doing this music, I want to let everybody know that. When I'm traveling and doing these shows and they ask me where I'm from, I say, I'm from Salem, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm born I'm born in Philadelphia, mm-hmm. you know, lived out there, I moved out here when I was young, go back and forth, you know. Mm-hmm. Philadelphia's a second home, you know. You gotta have everything in order. Mm-hmm. You gotta have things done right because when you go to Atlanta, you go to California, you go to New York, they're already expecting these artists to already have their backing the business already done mm-hmm. you gotta have the business in place because there's so many artists who do have the business in place you think they're gonna waste their time working with somebody, somebody that doesn't yeah that's it's like hey there's, there's a billion rappers now you dropping jewels yo pay attention there's a billion rappers yeah. out there so when you got your when you got your, your paperwork and your licensing and your copyrights mm-hmm. and, and all your stuff certified then it makes it easier and i think it's you know important for artists in this area to get that mm-hmm. popping because when people start searching for you searching for us they're going to see that we have a movement in the northwest mm-hmm. salem portland eugene wherever you're from oregon seattle mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying um but yeah man the, the northwest is 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 i my opinion the northwest is about to pop if it ain't pop yet it's about to pop it you know what i'm saying salute to everybody from the northwest making moves but i i guarantee you that i ain't gonna stop until you know what I'm saying? I'm on the big screen, or, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm supporting my family by this, and, and, and not even necessarily me being in the forefront of something, man. If I can put my foot somewhere and get my foot in the door and I can help other people, you know what I'm saying? If I can produce some stuff and get other people in the studio and help them get on, then that's what it's about, bro. It's about helping each other. Bro. That's all, man. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, man, you know, uh, we know about you doing your music thing, man, pushing a lot for the music and for the city, man, representing, man. But uh, where did the bummer come from, man? I'm interested to find out, man. Well, Leak the Barber, I was, uh, I always went by, Leak the Barber came about when my mom bought me my first pair of clippers, I started cutting my own hair, mm. cutting my friend's hair, mm-hmm. and that's when Leak the Barber kind of, kind of came about, I always went by Leak or Mo, mm-hmm. Mo Leak, put them together, and, uh, cutting hair through middle school, high school, mm-hmm. college, um, I always kept my clippers with me, and I was always went by Leak the Barber, and then, uh, I felt like, me doing music and doing all these shows and going to my league, the barber people always ask me, oh, you got, you got a license, you're a barber for real? I'm like, nah, I'm not really a barber. Sure and it didn't make sense to me. Yeah. But it came to a point where I was, you know, my lady was like, yo, let's go to barber school. Mm-hmm. And I was like, bet. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So got into barber school, one of the top barber schools in, uh, mm-hmm. in, in Oregon, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, Johnny Matthews, you know what I'm saying? And went there. Nine months, knocked it out. Graduated. Graduated with <laughs> honors. <laughs> with honors. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, that's when uh, I solidified and put the stamp on Leak the Barber. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I am really a barber. I am Leak the Barber. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, man, that's really so. That's where Leak the Barber came from, man. I always cut hair growing up. And people call me Leak the Barber growing up. Mm-hmm. But you know, I had to make it official with my license. So I got my license and I'm official. I actually got my international. License. Oh yeah, the real tech. Yeah, so Check not too many people got the iTech license, but I am one of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Leather cuts, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Butter. So what'd you do um, before the music, man? Man, I played. Uh, I played basketball. Honestly, my uh-huh. whole life I played sports. But honestly, I played basketball. My older brother, growing up in Philadelphia, he always inspired me to play basketball because he was always going in college playing hoop. Mm-hmm. But uh, and basketball is just deep in my family, but. We always going to college playing hoop. We always come home. I had one of his basketball cards, and you know, I, and then my mama showed me uh, newspaper clippings of uh, my brother Rashi Wallace mm-hmm. playing against each other in high school. And come find out they're best friends. That's dope. You know, so basketball was something that I always wanted to do since a kid. It's always been there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like yesterday's in Philly, bro. In Philly, you either rap or you hoop. Yeah. Or you a hustler. And you was good at it too. I remember. Uh... He had the bus stop and the bus going by and they're going to leave. I'm like, bro, oh, that was. <laughs> he on the side of the thing, like, yeah, mama, we made it. <laughs> hey, no, I'm not going to lie, man. That was probably like, I was, uh, 
freshman, maybe. Mm. Might have been a freshman in high school, bro, and Damn. I got the opportunity to, to, to do a crazy promotional deal with the Boys and Girls Club and the Chariots mm -hmm. Transit, you know, and they had the whole gym set up with lights and ladders mm -hmm. and cameras, and I'm just like, mm -hmm. you know, I was like, okay, I have my Boys and Girls Club shirt on, I have some Jordan shorts. Like, it's real official. Yeah, some Jordan <laughs> shoes, they had me in their gym, like, I was on a Wheaties box, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, they did all that. I got some uh, big, big posters that were blown up, and they were mm -hmm. all inside of the transit station. And I, remember those uh, I had, I knew I had one picture on the bus. Somebody hit me up one day and was like, "Hey, yo, Leek, I saw you on the bus." Mm -hmm. and I was like, "Yeah, I know, bro. I take the bus." <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I take the bus. You know? Yeah. And I thought they were kind of trying to crack a joke. And you didn't know what he was talking about. Nah, and he was like, "Nah, bro, I seen you on, on the bus, the bus. Like, on yeah. the side of the bus." Yeah. I'm like, "For real?" He's like, yeah, downtown right now. So I hop back yeah, on the bus. You go see, yeah. Get downtown, and I'm looking at the buses, and I finally see one bus where it had me like doing like a crossover, mm -hmm. you know. And then mm -hmm. there's another one, another bus pulled up where it had me dunking the basketball, like yeah, all over. You know, and so, yeah. and then the crazy thing was is that it was on. I was on the side of two city buses, but then in the insides of every bus, and I was in the <laughs> bus station though, yeah. big old posters of me. Mm -hmm. You know, and I didn't know any of that at first. Mm -hmm. Bro, until people were like, you're a guy from the... Oh, yeah, guy. they did have you posters up in the, in the gym. Yeah, and they had them all the... Yeah. You, know, you, you know when you in the bus, you sit down, they have all the advertisements. Yeah, yeah they up in the, the top. Yeah, yeah. they're up there, and I, you know, I started getting, like, pointed at by a whole bunch of random people, and I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm a kid, so, Celebrity. bro, Celebrity. my backpack on, <laughs> on basketball practice. That's the guy right there. Yeah, right. you know, did you want to let them know yourself, man? Man, all I, you know, at the end of the day, man, just continue to grind, continue to hustle, continue to strive for greatness, man. And make sure y'all come out February 11th to the Labrisa. It's going to be live. It's going to be live, man. Hashtag Salem's Own. You know, first headlining show 2016, put on by 4D Media. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Salem's premier promotional company. Mm -hmm. And when y'all come through, man, make sure you come through and throw your L's up, man. L's up, man. L's up. Live it up. Live life up to the fullest, man. If mm -hmm. you ain't living, what are you doing? What are you doing? Exactly. You already know, man. So, I appreciate you, bro. No, I appreciate you. I'm about to go round and round Up and down, I'ma hit the ground Truly, I'm watching your booty like it's a movie Got me in love, minus the O.E. Chick of Louie L.V. Louis Vuitton, baby Got her grabbing on my pole like it's a baton, baby Google Gaga, she freaky like Lady Gaga Got me all up on the wall like a poster calling me Dada I'ma break on proper Gotta go on loco, I need to call a doctor Told me she